what I did there was to take a of all the load in the house. So without this load assessment table, you can't do anything as regards solar system installation. I and my team, we picked a 450 watt panel for our client. Okay, you can see it here, 450 watt panel. You can see from the nameplate how many number of PV panels will be needed. We now know the total rating of our PV array system, right? But what we don't know now is how many panels will be needed. Sizing our battery bank is not difficult, I must say, but a lot of persons really do not know how to do it. All right, next up is inverter sizing. Inverter sizing. You see, this is that system that helps in converting the DC from the solar panel to AC, which will be needed in our house. Okay, but sizing it is not difficult, but yet it's something you have to you have to consider some factors. And some of these factors you consider is motorized load. Okay, always consider the starting and running power requirement of motorized loads like pumps, compressors, to ensure inverter can handle their peak demands. Okay, inverters should be sized to accommodate both the continuous power draw and the source current. Do you realize that if you are using your generator, your regular power backup generators at home, and then you switch on your freezer or your fridge, the generator changes in sounds, then eventually balance up. That first change in sound happened because the refrigerator used its peak power before it balances up. There's always a peak power, and that peak power draws more current okay so you have to factor that when sizing an inverter as well okay so make sure you look at the peak of the motorized load while factoring we did all that oh, you see it you see it. so properly sizing the inverter for motorized maintains efficiency and prolongs the lifespan of the inverter so let's look at a table we did putting into consideration motorized load so we have this, this our format table. What we just changed was uh, removing the um, amount of hour and the total energy. So we have light bulbs, LED TV, refrigerator, washing machine, fans, on and on. These are the total power, nothing has changed. And this is what we got here. But then we have to factor in motorized load like i always said and that is where we did some small mathematics of multiplication okay to account for such power motorized loads are multiplied by three laptop by two and other loads other regular loads by one other regular loads include the light bulbs home system theater system and miscellaneous okay we multiply the light bulb by one refrigerator by three okay washing machine by three fans by three laptops by two my laptop has such power when you plug it in <laughs> you will realize how much current it draws so everything we got here is 2937 watts that is less than 3000 watts but how do we choose an inverter system we choose an inverter system that is higher than what we calculated here i told my clients to go for a 5 kva inverter because um, it gives you opportunity to grow okay that is another teaching <laughs> another day um, it's something i'm going to teach another day but just know the higher the system it gives you opportunity to grow and it gives you opportunity to increase your panel your batteries as the case may be subsequently but fortunately my client was not too buoyant enough and we settled the 3.5 kilowatt inverter and the 3.5 kilowatt inverter is still way more than the total power so make sure any inverter you choose is way more than your total power after considering your surge power for motorized loads so we went with a choice solar um this choice solar has 3.5 kv 3.5 kv inverter 24 volts um and pure sine wave inverter however this is what i actually wanted i needed a grow volt inverter system that was what I needed, but fortunately at that point in time, I couldn't get good vote and I settled for choice. That is not to say choice is not good, choice is equally very good, I've used it several times, but I just have 
um, some likeness for Groovebox. I honestly don't know why I like them, but I actually do like them. So next up, which happens to be the last is the charge controller sizing. Please, while we are here, make sure you listen attentively because a lot of persons don't know this, even down to your technicians, they just choose a controller, a solar, con a solar charge controller, we can't know why they are choosing it. Or because they've done previous jobs before, they just feel this charge controller should be able to power or should be necessary for the next job they are taking, even if the ratings or the household appliances are different. So, but with what I'm going to teach you guys now, um, you will have a strong understanding of this. Okay, remember our PV panel, individual PV panels were 450 watts, right? And VOC short circuit voltage, the open circuit voltage is 44.22 volts. And the ISC is, with the short circuit current is 12.38. These are the only values we need to basically um, size a charge controller. But then these are the different steps we take while, charging this, while sizing the charge controller. The charge controller should work in line with the system voltage. Our system voltage is 24 volts, right? The charge controller should work in line with the system voltage. The total voltage of the PV panels in series must not exceed the maximum input voltage of the controller. Okay? And then the total current is strings. Remember, a string is um, for batteries, I did explain something with batteries that a string is batteries connected in series. That's a string. Another battery connected in series, another string. So for those eight batteries, we have two strings, four in parallel, four in series, four in series. So same applies to string here yeah? for panel for other things. That's how string is explained. Okay. So we went with an MPPT solar charge a schneider mppt solar charge controller schneider okay this is a reputable company we went with this um that, I, I, getting this was a little bit not okay another job so i will probably use felicity just like i stated here so let's go back i'll probably use felicity but our clients had access to this charge controller and luckily for us, it worked perfectly. We already know the charge controller work should work in line with the system voltage, and ours will basically work in line with this system voltage 12, 24, 36, and 48. Total voltage of panel series should not exceed input voltage of the controller. The total um, current in strings must not be higher than the input current of the charge controller. Okay? So we have to do that so we don't destroy the charge controller and that is where we did small mathematics okay remember assistant voltage the first criteria done and dusted the maximum input voltage of this charge controller of this schneider charge controller is 150 volt which is pretty high the maximum input current is 100 and which is fantastically okay so therefore the total voc which is open circuit voltage is low of panels in series than VOC, which is for each panel, the VOC for each panel is 44.2 times 1.3. 1.3 is the safety factor. I've always used the safety factor, right? So the number of panels in series, what we now did now was to com combine two parallel, two panel in series. Um, maybe we should go to the board. So I explained that again, all right? So you understand better what I did. So what we did with this system was to combine all the panels, well, combine two, two panels in series, two panels in series. So this is what you will find on our roof. Okay. This is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Plus, minus. These are six different panels and we had to, because of the charge controller we're choosing, there was need to do a particular arrangement that would not exceed the total input voltage and then the total input current. So what we did here was this, 
we combine this in series okay and then we'll combine this in series again okay and then we'll combine this in series again okay so what we have now is three string one string two string and three string so what we did now was to parallel everything okay was to parallel everything so this is our solar array this is our pv solar array okay so this is what you find on our roof i i repeat two in series two in series two in series making it three different string and we have to parallel three different string remember for parallel all polarity is same for the negative side of polarity is same as well so what we now did now the total voc because the of panel series times voc times 1.3 we got this which is 114.92 volts which is less than our maximum input voltage of 150 volts okay and then we got 50 amps which is less than our maximum uh, input current of 100 amps so with this charge controller our system even has opportunity to grow we can increase the string from three to four and it will still be less than 100 amp but one thing we must not do is to touch the total um, is to increase the panels in series so guys that is it for the charge controller um a project i did before this we used a felicity charge controller and this felicity charge controller has maximum input voltage of 145 volt and current of 60 amp it would have equally worked so this is the system after every 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 done and dusted this is the system we have we couldn't get a proper rack a proper rack the battery rack to to accommodate this battery and we did a makeshift rack which was pretty good as well we just at this point we are still installing how big the house now has electricity at this point we are still putting finishing touches okay so you will realize from the setting and so that is it guys thanks for watching i know you should be able to size any solar energy system in the world if you really understand what we've done with this video if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe do well to like do well to uh, turn on the notification bell so when other videos are posted you are among the first to see that we will be posting more of this content i assure you we have a lot of content in the work we have a lot of contents in the work we have contents with different shots that we have not yet uploaded you'll be seeing them soon and then for to see them make sure you subscribe and if you want to be part of our community you do well to click on the join button under this video you will be part of our community another thing you can um, do is to patronize us we sell generators the very best of generators most of you some clients here some viewers here subscribers here have become regular clients of our firm so you are rest assured you are getting the best quality we get directly from distributors at affordable prices and then if you need a solar energy system installed in your household in your farm in your factory wherever it is just write us a message we'll drop our whatsapp contact on this video till we meet in our next life guys it's goodbye from us take care stay safe see ya